Como esta cama? Hi, it's Victoria. I have this scenario in mind wherein you're going to work, you're late, you don't have time to do makeup, and in turn, you don't look um, anywhere near presentable. In today's video, I am so excited but also nervous because I'm going to make a five, yes, five, five minute makeup tutorial. Um, let's just say it's just a soft, it's not even a soft glam, it's just how to make yourself presentable in five minutes. I'm not gonna show you in real time the products that I'm gonna use, but I am, however, gonna pop it up here or here, whichever is better. I will do a voiceover as well while I am doing my makeup because I can't really talk as fast as I'm, I can multitask, guys. I'm using the Glossier Future Dew. I chose this as a primer, so it makes my skin hydrated and very moisturized throughout the day. It also helps out blend the other products really well. Next is the Clinique Fit SPF 40. This is not a CC cream, but it's such a good base tint since it's very dewy and has SPF 40. You all know by now I love a formula with an SPF on it, so this will also help time, especially when you forgot to put sunscreen on. <laughs> I am going to blend this out with an LH puff. I am using the LH puff to take off the excess oil. So the puff doesn't have any powder on it. This is just a clean, this is just a clean puff so it just takes off the excess oil. Next is the Tarte Shape Tape. This shade is more in a medium tone for me, not too light, not too dark, so it acts both as a color corrector and also it highlights my eyes, but very subtle. Since I am using my fingers, I'll be blending this with the LH sponge to blend and blur out the fingerprint marks. I'm just adding a bit more concealer here. Next is the Nude Sticks Nudies in Bondi Bay. What I like about the shade of this product is that it can be both a contour and a bronzer. It gives definition and color to my face, so make sure to blend that out properly though. Next is I'm applying Glossier Cloud Paint in Dawn. I am using a brush to put this on so it applies fast and at the same time just gives the right kind of pigment. The formula is so creamy and versatile. I'm even putting some on my lids so even if I don't put any eyeshadow on, there's still some color to it. I'm just using my fingers to apply that. out here since I can't find the next product I'm supposed to put on. Just lost a few precious seconds there. Next is the Glossy Holoscope Highlight. This is a stick highlighter which is very convenient and gives off a natural glow, especially when the sun hits your face. I am blending this with a brush to blend the harsh strokes. My staple powder, which is the Laura Mercier, I'm putting it only on some parts of my face and not the whole face to retain that natural glow. You can use a pressed powder for this to avoid too much fallout. I'm using the Muji Eyelash Curler to curl those lashes. I forgot to take a photo of this, but this is the Pat McGrath Precision Eyeliner. You can skip this step if it'll take you a long time to put eyeliner on. 
It took me a lot of practice and um, years <laughs> to put on eyeliner in seconds. Next, I'm using the Tarte Surfer Curl as a mascara. This mascara gives a full and even longer lash effect. And lastly is the Glossier Generation G. This color and formula gives a natural effect. Oops, not saved by the bell. <laughs> oh my god. Um, <laughs> five minutes. I hope you like it. Um, I was actually supposed to put on one more in the last minute, which is this one. And this is my version of my five minute makeup tutorial. So if you want me to try on makeup challenges such as this one, then don't forget to comment those down below. I'd be sure to check them out. If you like this video, please hit the like, the share, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.